Oh, 2020, the year of Envy Scooters, the scooter brand that cannot be touched by anyone. Envy Scooters with 2020 Prodigy S8, the scooter is a machine. It is the king of the complete. No one can even come close to the new 2020 Envy Prodigy S8 scooter. But wait until the new Root Industries Lithium Complete scooter comes out. Aluminum bars, 120 millimeter wheels, and 30 wide. Oh my gosh, this scooter looks crazy. Which one will stack up against the king, the Envy Prodigy S8? So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to be putting up specs, material of a metal that they use, and which one, in my personal opinion, is the better scooter. So everybody, what I'm gonna need you guys to get this video to, 69,000 likes and 420 comments. Okay, so before we get into the review, I had to hurry up and take a thumbnail outside because the lighting was perfect looking. But to my surprise, I work in Riverside where people really do not know how to drive. As I'm getting the angles for the shot, I almost got hit by a car four different times, almost had the scooters ran over five different times, but I got the shot still. People, you really need to learn how to drive. Some people out here. Uh, anyways, you guys, I'm here today to give you another scooter versus scooter video. I know I haven't made one of these in a very long time, and this shirt is way too big. Ow! I know I haven't made a scooter versus scooter in a long time, but that's because nothing new was out. Now we have the new NVSA Prodigy and the Root Industries Lithium Complete. Two of our most popular scooters, and if you guys want to get any of them, make sure to go to www.thescooterzone.com and use promo code C for 15% off. Also, get Raymond Warner merch. This isn't Raymond Warner merch, but you can go use promo code C for 10% off because I left my hat at my girlfriend's house. Sick! Anyways, let's first get into the first scooter. So the first scooter that we're going to be using is the Envy Prodigy S8. Let's start it off from, let's start it off from the bottom. So on the 2020 Envy Prodigy scooter, you get 120 millimeter Envy Prodigy wheels. This is Envy's new wheel, same urethane, same type of metal. Basically, if the wheels don't broke, don't broke. If they don't break, don't fix them. And then for the brake, you have a Envy nylon brake. The Envy nylon brake is one of the best you can possibly get. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't think I've, I've broken two my whole entire life riding an Envy deck, which is pretty good for me. Next thing we have the Envy Prodigy deck. This is the 2020 edition, so it has a nice cutout on the bottom. Look at that, look at that thing, look at that thing. Also another thing that Envy did with the new 2020 Prodigies is they came out with some banger color. The Prodigies come in Jade, Scratch. The Prodigies come in Jade, Scratch, 
oil slick, burnt pipe, venom. I think I'm missing some, but I kind of forget. Gold, and I believe that's it for the park editions, and then for the street editions, they have black and gray. So there's plenty of choices for you guys, and I asked, I also do know of a couple of different colorways that are coming, but they're gonna be a little bit later on in the year. So, also, for the fork, you get an Envy Prodigy 2019 fork. These forks are 30 wide compatible, so if you guys wanna get the new 30 wide Envy wheels, you guys can definitely get that with these Prodigy scooters. It's gonna take a little bit ghetto rigging for the spacers, but hey, it still works. Also, same front wheel. Next thing you know, we got the headset, and uh, basically the same exact headset as last year. But like I said before, if it don't broke, then don't fix it. I said it wrong again. Cool. <laughs> and now we have the clamp. Now the clamp might look the same as last year's Prodigy clamp, but this one is oversized. So if you guys wanted the new NV Reaper bars in oil slick, you guys can definitely get those. You used to, last year you used to have to buy a new clamp if you wanted to get those bars. Now you don't have to worry about it because you got the clamp. Now moving on to probably my favorite part about this scooter that NV did and that is the bar. The new NV Prodigy bar. You guys might say that this bar is a Reaper, but it's not quite a Reaper. Now let me show you the difference, if I can zoom in enough. So the big difference between a Reaper bar and the Prodigy bar is right in this gusset right here. So for the gusset for the Reaper bar, it has like two prongs that come up, which is gonna give it more strength, and then it kind of tapers down. So, but that that's pretty much it for the difference between the Reaper bar and the Prodigy bar, but it's still a great bar. So if you guys are a little bit heavier rider and you do love the look of the Prodigy bars, but you guys want a Reaper bar look still, just get the Reaper bars. They're basically the same exact thing, just have a little bit more reinforcement. Next for the grips, we have the TPR grips, typical NV grips, they're the best grips you guys can possibly buy. So I like them a lot. Now let's go grab the root complete. <sighs> okay, so now for the root industries lithium complete. First impressions, this is my first time actually handling a root complete and the first impressions are is that they're extremely lightweight. So let's start it off from the bottom again like I did with the NV Prodigy. For the root industries complete you have the lithium wheels. Now these wheels are 120 millimeters by 30 inches wide. <laughs> Also another thing about the core is that it's 30 on the outside, but it's standard size on the inside. Now you might be asking what does that mean? It means you don't need weird spacers to get your wheels on. That means less hassle, easier compatibility, and you still get to ride 30 wide, which I'm so happy for. We have the Root Industries Lithium Deck. Now I, if you guys do remember, I am riding this deck personally, and it is probably one of the lightest decks I've ever felt in my whole entire life. And it feels great, it whips great, I've ridden it twice. I, did I say that? No, I didn't. I've ridden it 50,000 times and it, But this deck is in oil slick. Probably one of the nicest oil slicks I've seen out of all of the scooters. Um, Root Industry has always done a great job with their oil slick, AKA they, what they call it, Rocky Fuel. But I'm gonna title it Oil Slick because that gets more views on YouTube if we're being completely honest. I need the money. Oh, did it just get awkward in here? I got an Audi payment and I've been posting like three times a month. Awkward. Chair almost fell back. Next we got the clamp. The clamp is the Root Industries lithium clamp. Basically this whole scooter is a lithium complete so it's all gonna be lithium. I bet you can't say that 10 times fast. Lithium, 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 lithium. I started, I thought I started getting this lisp. Next we got the Root Industries lithium Clamp, that's what it was. I was gonna say headset, but it's not the headset. Super great clamp, I love the look of the clamp, it looks amazing. Uh, it's like 20 bucks on Scooter Zone's website, so if you guys wanna get the lithium clamp, all you guys gotta do is go to www.thescooterzone.com. Use promo code Steve for 15% off and buy a lithium clamp. Also for the headset, same, it's a Root Industries headset. I'm sure all you guys have already ridden one, seen one. Heard of one. For the bars, we have a Root Industries Lithium Bar with the Root Industries Air RP Grips. These grips are very, very good. They're a little bit longer than most grips, so if you guys like long grips, um, they remind me a lot of Ethics, so keep that in mind. I think that's pretty much it on the scooter. So you guys are asking me which one of these scooters are the better scooter for your guys' money. I'll tell you which one. The Heavy Product GS8 scooter, this one. It's $200. The Root Industries Lithium Complete is $230. For the extra $30, you get a scooter that's boxed. 30 wide wheels, 
only difference. If I had to choose between the two, give me a second. Bar height is exactly the same at 25 and a half inches tall. Dex length is 20 and a half on the Brook Industries Lithium. Foot room, 14 inches. The MV Prodigy, 19 and a half with about 13 and a half inches of foot room. You guys ask me, what scooter is the better scooter for you guys to buy with your money? And my choice is. Both scooters are great, but I'm gonna go with the lithium. Now, calm down, calm down. I know what you're thinking. You're mad because you guys thought I was gonna pick Envy. I know you did. The Envy Prodigy is a great scooter, amazing deck, but for me personally, I would go with the Root Industries just because it does have the bigger deck and I ride the deck already. Um, and I just like no back sweep. So pretty much, pretty much if you guys want the scooters, basically the same exact scooters. One has back sweep, one doesn't. One's boxed with a little bit longer deck, and one isn't. So if you guys want a deck that's not boxed, go with the Prodigy. If you guys want a scooter that is boxed, still really light, go with the Lithium. Oh, I was sweating. All right, do you guys think you guys very much watched this video? Bar, do you guys think you guys very much watched this video? Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me down in the description on Instagram. And uh, follow my Twitch. Follow my Twitch. Follow my Instagram, Twitter, those things. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.